This is a demo of the IBM Connections mobile app for Android devices. Now don't get concerned if you see my mouse moving through the screen, I'm actually using the Android emulator to do this demo. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the Connections app and immediately when that happens I get into the status updates feed. Now from within status updates, notice that I can see the number of comments that have been added into a particular status updates and they're all sorted by the most recent update. From within the updates view, I can also pick and choose different filters so that I can decide how I want to see information. Perhaps I want to see all public status updates. Perhaps I want to see the activity stream. The activity stream shows all the activity that my colleagues are doing throughout IBM Connections, whether they're voting on new ideas, uploading new files, commenting on wikis or commenting on blog entries. All that activity is actually captured for me directly from within the mobile app. So for me, as I'm traveling or as I, as I go from one customer to another, it's just a perfect app to stay up to speed with what's happening throughout my network. Now to update my status, all I have to do is simply tap the big plus icon here on the top right. And from there, I can update my status. I can upload a photo or a video. I can upload a file or I can start creating a blog post. So if I go into the status update section, I quickly type in hello from my demo. I tap on share and off it goes. So very straightforward, very easy and very quick. Now as a mobile worker, it's also very important that not only do I have a, a view into what my colleagues are doing and, my, what, and what my network is doing, but also the ability to search across the entire system so I can leverage intellectual capital when I need it. So within the mobile app, notice that we have a big magnifying glass on the top right. And if I tap that, it brings me immediately into the search menu. And as I start typing a few characters, the system starts searching for me immediately and I don't have to tap on go, tap OK, tap submit or anything. It just happens as I start typing those characters. And notice that as I type social here, I get a bunch of results on social business and the Gardner Magic Quadrant and social media guidelines. And I can actually filter this, the, the results. Perhaps I want to find the SME that's an expert in social. And so by tapping on the filter menu here, I choose profiles and voila. And speaking of profiles, let's go into my profiles. So I'm going to go back into profiles. And the first thing that loads when I come into profiles is my network. And my network is my dynamic, up-to-date address book from the server. And this is all encrypted. And the great thing about this is that I don't have to worry about manually adding information from my contact and updating that because this is always coming from the server so it's always going to be available for me. Just like before, if I tap on the filter here, I can pick and choose different views. I can see the people that I follow, I can go into my profile, and I can even go into my network invitations, which in this case, I know that there's six people that have recently invited me into their network. I'm not going to do that right now, but instead what I want to do is I want to search for my buddy Stuart because I just happen to be traveling to the UK and I want to be able to meet up with Stuart. So once I find Stuart, I simply tap on his name and his profile is loaded and now I can see that he's already part of my network. I'm not following him, so I can choose to follow him directly from the mobile app. I can go into the About Me section and get to see all the information that he has added into his profile. And if I tap on the menu button on my Android device, I get a context menu where I can do a bunch of things. I can send Stuart an email, I can send him a text message directly from the mobile app, I can save all of his information into my local address book within my Android device, and I can also share this contact information with somebody else. So let me show you what share looks like. Let me tap on this button. Now notice that when I type on the share button, I get two options. I can scan the contact information or I can share the contact information, which will create a V card and send that information via email to somebody that I choose. Let me tap on the first one and show you how that works. So when I tap on scan contact information, a QR code is generated for Stuart's profile. And now somebody else with a camera can take a photo of this and scan this QR code. And this would allow the other user to quickly import all of Stuart's information into their phone. So very straightforward, very easy to use and very fast as well. Now let's go back to my profile. So from within the filter menu, I go into my profile and notice that in my profile, I don't have a picture set. So I can quickly fix that by simply tapping on the edit button and picking either a picture that's already stored in my Android device, or I can actually take a picture right now. Now, because I'm using an emulator, the camera doesn't rotate, but I'm going to quickly take a picture. I'm going to accept this. And now from my Android device, I can actually update this picture, crop it, 
resize it, fix it, and then set that as my profile picture. The photos uploaded into the server and now notice that when I go back into my profile, I now have a new profile image. So there you have it. Very straightforward, very easy to use. And you're doing this, all of this through the mobile device. Now let's go into network invitations and notice that I have six people. And from here, again, I can quickly accept or ignore the invite. Again, very straightforward, very easy. So I've shown you very easy ways to stay up to date with your network, search across IBM connections, which is very important, being able to quickly reach out to your colleagues. The other major thing that's very important for employees on the go is the ability to access their files on the go. So I'm going to go into files and notice that from within my files, I have a quick way to see the most recent file, how many comments those files have, how many likes those files have, etc. And of course, I can go into it, any of these files and open them. And I'll show you this in one second. Let's go here into a different view. And what I want to do is now show you all the different views that are provided from within files. I can see all the public files. I can see all the files that have been shared with me. I can see the files that I have shared with other people, files that I have pinned or folders that I have pinned, etc. So very, very powerful. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into the pinned files view and notice that I have a text document um, here that has been pinned and it has one comment and what I want to do is I'm going to tap on the file and notice that immediately the file was downloaded because it's very small once the file is downloaded it's actually downloaded and it's encrypted in my mobile device so then when I open the file which it just happened by just tapping on the file name the file also has to decrypt and because this is an open office file the Symfony Viewer app opened on my Android device so very straightforward very easy to use now let me show you another example here. Let me go back. And now I'm gonna go into public files. So now I can see all the files that everyone has shared into the system. In this case, I'm going to pick an image. And again, I simply tap on the image. The image is downloaded into my device. It's also decrypted at the same time. And now I can quickly view the image directly from my Android device. So this is going to work for pretty much any file type that is supported by your mobile device. So whether it's open office documents or PDF files, images, etc., all those you should be able to preview from within the uh, app. And of course, now if I wanted to, I can comment on the file. I can like the file directly from here. I can see all the metadata related to this file, um, how many versions it has, who it has been shared with what folders it's been stored in, etc. All right, so let me go back now and I'm gonna go into my files because I wanna show you another important new feature and that's the ability to quickly share files on the go. So say that you receive a request either via email or via text message that somebody needs access to one of your presentations. And so what you wanna do is you can actually come into the file and tap on the menu option and notice that from here you can open the file, which is what I did before by tapping directly on the file name. You can download it, which is very important because you can download the files and use them even while you are disconnected from the network. So say perhaps that you're getting on a plane and you want to be able to review this presentation before you land, you can download it, store it locally on your mobile device, and then preview it. And then once you're ready, you can then comment back into it once you're connected into the network. I can also share the, the file, which is what I was just going to mention, and you can share this with specific people, or you can even share with, with communities. If I wanted to, I could also make the file public, because right now it's only shared with a, a couple of people. So from here, if I wanted to, I can share with my community. I tap on that option. I search the community that I want to share this with, and I'm going to uh, type in a few characters. And notice that immediately uh, a couple options come up. I pick the IBM Connections Users community. I tap on share and that's it. Very straightforward, very quickly and very easy to use. Now, finally, I wanted to show you communities because as a community manager on the go, it's very important to know what is happening in your community. So I'm gonna go into the home menu. I'm going to click on communities and then I'm going to select the first community, which is the IBM Connections users community. This is my favorite community. Once the community opens, I can tap on the updates tab and now I can see the full activity stream of the community. So that way, as a community manager, I can quickly digest and understand what is happening in my community. What, who is voting on which ideas within the ideation capability? 
who has shared files with the community, etc. So all those capabilities are available to me very, very quickly. Now, as a user on the go, one of the things that I want to do with my communities is quickly share uh, photos and videos with my community. So from within the community, I can go into the media gallery section and notice that from within the media gallery, I can quickly see photos that have been uploaded into the system. I can even see videos that have been uploaded to the system. And if I tap on one of the videos, the video will start downloading and I can start playing the video directly from my mobile device. Now say that you're at a conference, right? So as a community member, you want to be able to quickly share photos and videos with the rest of the, of the community. So to do that, it's very straightforward. Simply tap the big plus button on the top right of the screen and you can choose pictures that you have already taken or videos that you have already taken or you can take a video right now with your mobile device and then upload that immediately into the connections community so very powerful very straightforward and again very easy to use now let me close with a couple of things just want to show you um, a couple options that are available to administrators so notice that in the main menu here we have a qu quick way to go into the updates profiles communities wikis etc and this menu here is actually customizable and extensible by administrators so if administrators want to add additional links to the menu such as a link to perhaps their intranet portal um, social media guidelines etc they can easily do that um, through configuration. Additionally, if I go into my account, notice that I have quick access to all the files that I have downloaded. So again, if I am disconnected from the network and I don't have Wi-Fi and I don't have 3G, I can still access the files that I have downloaded and are stored locally on my device. And not only that, remember that the files are actually encrypted on your device for security purposes. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is the ability to add multiple accounts into your mobile device. So say, for example, that you're using a connections instance inside of the firewall for employee collaboration, and you have another instance of connections outside of the firewall for partner collaboration or, or consumer collaboration, simply tap the big plus button on the top right, and you can add your own company server and we'll ask you for the server URL, your username, your password, and that's it. And that way, as you are on the go, you can quickly monitor and see what's happening in multiple connections instances. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is the ability to customize the look and feel of this mobile app. This mobile app can be configured by administrators on the back end, so you can change the colors, you can change the logos, and you can change the look and feel of the app. So that's it, that's a quick tour of the mobile app. I of course didn't show you all the features because that would have taken me forever, but hopefully you now have a quick understanding as to how the mobile app works and how powerful it is. If you have any questions, simply go to ibm.com slash social business. Thank you.